Welcome to part 16 of the Intermediate Revit course, where we're going to start looking at how to change the material of a railing because it's actually quite difficult when it really shouldn't be. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there. So far our render's looking pretty good. One thing I want to change though is the material on the railing in the background here. And so if we go to a 3D view, you can see it's currently set to just the default material. If we go to edit this, say if we go to edit type and we want to add a material, there's actually no option, no parameter to be able to change that material. And that's quite annoying, but there's a way to change it. And there's an easy way to change it. And then there's the right way to change it. So I'm going to show you both of those methods. Um, and then there's another way you could paint um, if we went to the modified tab and used the paint tool, we could paint on each baluster and each rail and that is, that's not even op an option. So let's not do that. The easy way, I'll show you that first. What we can do is go to the manage tab and go to object styles and we can change the object color or material for every single railing in the model because we have railings in other places. Say if I were to type R A and bring up the railings, I can select everything under railings and change the material from here. And I'll show you what that will look like. If we apply that, you're going to see the railings update to the black color that we want, because in this image here, you can see the railing is black. You know, that works, but then as you can see, if we rotate around, the railing up here has also changed. So what that's done is change the railing material for every single railing in the model. The proper way would be to change the family material from the source. So the railing is made up of balusters and there's also this top rail. So the balusters, what we can do to change that is come to our project browser. And because if we select this, there's no edit family button like we'd usually have. So it gets a little bit tricky because we can't just edit the type, change the material, and we can't just go into the family and change the material from the family. What we have to do is come to the project browser. We're going to go down to families. And we're going to type, type RA to find railings and bring this down. And you're going to see there are balusters and uh, also the top rails and stuff are here as well. So if we bring down the square balusters, which is what we're using, you can see that these are a square profile. What we want to do is find out whether we're using 20 mils or 25 mil balusters. So I'm going to select the railing and press on edit type. We can then go into the baluster placement and you'll see that it's using the 25 millimeter baluster square family. We can cancel out of that and we can select this 25 millimeter square baluster. And before changing this, what I'm going to do is right click it and duplicate it. And I'm going to call this 25 millimeter black. Just gonna rename that like that. And so now what we can do is right click this baluster, the square baluster, uh, press type properties. You can see there's a baluster material. This is what we want to be able to change. So I'm gonna change this to the black that we were going to be using click OK. And you're not going to see that update in the model because we've duplicated this baluster. What we need to do is go back into this railing, click edit type, and we're going to assign the baluster to be the square 25 millimeter, but the black one we've just created like that. And we're going to also have to change some of these other ones as well. What we can do is change the baluster placement here and here and also here. We're going to apply that and click OK. And you should see those balusters update. They are now black, whereas these ones over here are still the regular 25 millimeter square ones that are with the default material. Now, the only other thing we have to change is this top rail. So I'm gonna come over to this project browser again and click on top rail type. I'm just going to guess it's the rectangular 50 by 50. So I'm going to duplicate that. Again, I'm going to rename this to 50 mil black. Now we can edit the type properties of this one and make this material the same black as before. And we could make this different if we wanted to, but we want this to all be the same material. And now again, we're just gonna to have to come into this railing. I'm going to press ET, which is my shortcut for edit type. And from here, you can see the top rail is currently that rectangular 50 by 50. I'm going to select that and then use the drop down menu to then choose rectangular 50 by 50 black and you can see that's got that material assigned to it. I'm gonna click OK and click OK again. That's changed that top rail. So now if we were to go to Enscape, you would see that that is now black 
which is awesome. So when we render this out, it's going to look exactly like it does in the image here, which, which, which is what we were going for. There we go. In the next lesson, we're going to do a complete overview of the Enscape settings inside of Revit. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.